Coming up in this video, I'll show you eight keyboard shortcuts so that you can use Windows like a pro. These shortcuts are built into Windows and enabled by default so that you can use them on any Windows computer. Stick around to the end for a couple of bonus shortcuts. While these are not strictly keyboard shortcuts, they are shortcuts to get to certain things quicker. If I've missed out a shortcut that you find useful, let me know what it is in the comments. First up is Windows key and D, which is show desktop. Let's say you have a lot of windows open, but you quickly need to get to something on the desktop. Rather than having to minimize every window one at a time, Windows and D will minimize all windows and show you the desktop. And pressing Windows and D again will unminimize all windows and take you back to the last window that you were on. You can also use Windows and M to minimize all windows, but pressing it again doesn't unminimize them. So I find Windows and D to be more useful for that. Next, we have Windows key and E, which launches a file explorer window. Once you commit this one to muscle memory, it'll be the only way you ever launch file explorer. Pressing Windows and E again will open up another file explorer window rather than close the first one. That brings me nicely onto the next shortcut, which is the Windows key and arrow keys. When you're on an active window, pressing the Windows key and one of the arrow keys will snap the window to the side of the screen, depending on which arrow key that you pressed. So for example, I've got this file explorer window active. I'll press the Windows key and left arrow to snap it to the left side of the screen. I'll click on the other file explorer window and press the Windows and right arrow key to snap that one to the right side of the screen. It's a quick way to get two windows side by side. And this works with any window you have open, not just file explorer windows. You could have two browser windows open side by side and it doesn't need to be two windows of the same type. You can snap any window to any location. You can also snap windows to the top half of the screen or even to one of the corners. Once you snap a window to the top of the screen, you can then snap it to the left or right corner by using the left or right arrow key. You can even snap to the bottom corners of the screen. Once you get used to this one, it's easy to snap windows to any area of the screen. It's really useful when you need to have two different windows on the screen at the same time. The next one is Windows key and L, which is to lock the screen. Let's say you need to step away from the computer for a minute, but you don't want to leave your screen open for anyone to see. You can quickly lock the screen by pressing Windows and L. When you come back, just sign back into Windows as normal and return to what you were doing previously. Next up is Windows key, Shift and S to take a screenshot with the built-in snipping tool. It can be really useful when you need to quickly take a screenshot of something on the screen to keep handy. And pressing Windows, Shift and S will bring up the snipping tool and be ready to capture a screenshot. The capture type will default to the last method used, but you can change it to rectangle, window, full screen or freeform. It's really useful for quickly capturing all or part of the screen, which you can then copy and paste to another application. The next shortcut is for anyone who uses a second screen or connects a laptop to a monitor. Pressing Windows and P will bring up a menu on the right hand side where you can cycle between different display options. Just keep pressing Windows and P until you reach the option that you want, then press enter. Alternatively, you can use the arrow keys or the mouse to select the one that you want. You can choose between PC screen only, which is the current screen that you're on, duplicate, which will show the same output to all monitors connected, extend, which will extend to all monitors, which will all access separate independent screens so that you can move between, and finally, you can choose to output to just the second screen only. Related to the Windows key and P is the Windows key and K, which allows you to cast your screen to another screen wirelessly using a technology called Miracast. You can think of Miracast as HDMI over Wi-Fi. You can send the video and audio from your computer to a nearby TV screen wirelessly. Lots of TVs from manufacturers like Samsung, LG, Sony and others made in the last few years should support Miracast. They all call it by a different name like Samsung Smart View or LG Smart Share, but under the hood it's using Miracast. Your computer needs to support Wi-Fi for this one, but you don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network for this to work. Miracast establishes a direct connection between the computer and the display. After pressing the Windows key and K, you'll get a pop-up box on the right which will search for any nearby supported displays. Select the display you want to cast to and your video and audio will then appear on the other display. By default, it will duplicate your screen onto the other display, but just like the previous shortcut, Windows and P, you can choose between duplicate, extend, or second screen only. And last but not least is the Windows key and X, which brings up the quick links menu. 
This is a quick way to get to various system management and configuration options. There's lots of useful shortcuts here, and it's just a shame that you can't customise this menu with your own personal shortcuts. Maybe a future version of Windows will add this. So, those are the 8 keyboard shortcuts that are used daily, but there are lots more. For a more comprehensive list, check out the link below, which I'll also leave in the video description. And now on to the bonus shortcuts that I mentioned earlier. While these are not keyboard shortcuts, they will get you to where you want to go much quicker. We'll make use of the Windows key and R to open a run prompt, which in itself is a shortcut. First up is System Properties, so hit the Windows key and R to open a run prompt, and enter sysdm.cpl. This will take you directly to the System Properties box, where you can change the computer name, join a domain, or change the advanced features. Next up, I'll hit the Windows key and R again, and this time I'll type in ncpa.cpl which brings up the network connections box where you can configure the Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections for the PC. Lastly, another shortcut that I use frequently is from a run prompt again, and this one is control.exe, which brings up the control panel. While this is now considered a legacy control panel, as Microsoft is gradually putting all these settings into the modern settings apps, which you can get to, by the way, by pressing the Windows key and I, there's still some settings that are only available in the control panel. Although I expect at some point the control panel will be completely replaced by the modern settings app. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you discovered some shortcuts that you didn't know before. If you've got a good shortcut that I didn't mention, then let me know what it is in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.